All right, so I'm gonna be showing how to open up and disassemble this noisy, uh, this fan is going bad, but this Lenovo T450S. So I'm gonna wait till it completely shuts off and then remove the battery. Hopefully this fan can be repaired and doesn't need to be replaced. Um, but yeah, so anyways, first of course, you wanna shut it down, remove the battery, all right. This model might have an internal battery, so I'm going to see about disconnecting that before I open the screen again. But anyways, what you want to do is undo all the screws. Okay. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So the screws actually hold themselves in place, so you don't need to um, take them out completely. Just unscrew it until they stop coming out. All right. Then you want to go around the edges and pry it up just like this. If you don't have fingernails, you can use a pry tool, um, but I find fingernails work really well. All right, so just go along, pry up all the edges. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. All right, just like that. Front edge is a little bit stuck. Okay, I'm trying to avoid opening it because this computer keeps turning itself back on and it takes forever to shut down. So just go all the way around. Screw shit. Okay. All right. Keep going. And be careful with each of these um, smaller areas because they do have their own clips. You don't want to just pull it up and then you can actually damage the case. Okay. So just go around. I accidentally snapped it back down. Okay. Just like this. All right. Hopefully once you get all these pieces snapped open, then you want to lift from this side away from the hinges because there's clips under here. So when you lift from here, then you can actually pull it away. Okay? So one of these screws actually came out. I think the plastic or the shell's broken. But normally these screws will stay in place. Um, so this one fell out. Oh, it's missing the washer. Okay, I'll see if I can find a missing washer for this. But here you can see the plate just comes off like that. The fan is really dusty, so here you can see. Um, so to clean this up, I use a toothbrush and then I use an air blower to blow this out. Um, I can use this hand-powered one, it's pretty good, but usually I'll use an electric one. Alright, so anyways, as I was saying, there's another battery in here, so I'm going to disconnect this cable. So to disconnect the cable, you just go with the wings and keep wiggling them, um, switching side to side, and you see it comes out just like that. So I am going to remove this just to make it easier to clean or easier to get to the other components. All right, so take the screws out. When you take these screws out, you do want to use a lot of downward force. You don't want the um, screwdriver to skip and strip the screws. Okay, so remove these three screws, two here and then one here. After you do that, you can lift this up. Be careful because the cable is routed through and you don't want to um, yank on them too hard. Okay, so there you go. So the internal battery, if you need to replace it, let's see, is there a model number here? Um... There's several numbers here, not a direct model number, but you can use usually this 45N1108 or this 45N117 or 45N1773 or there's this part number 12150143. So you can search all of those um, if you're trying to look for the battery or you can just look for the T4, whatever this model S um, battery and you should be able to find it all right then the external battery i mean you can check this yourself because you have the battery but there's also the part numbers here four five um four five n one one three four four five n one seven 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 okay so i don't know this one doesn't have the other model number on it um yeah so if you need to replace the batteries those are the model numbers then you got the stick of ram here so you just pull these two parts to the side and the RAM will pop up then you can pull it out so this RAM is 8 gigs PC3 12800S so if you want to upgrade it make sure you get the same speed all right 
you can change the storage amount or the size of the memory, but don't try and avoid changing the speed because sometimes that will prevent your computer from working. Then you got the SSD or hard drive here. So to remove that, there's one screw, right? Once you take that one screw out, you have to push this back piece inwards to, and then you can lift it up. And then once you have it lifted up slightly, just wiggle it and you can pull it back just like that. Okay, so that's how you remove the SSD. All right, you got this connector here for this board. Um, okay, I found the little missing washer. All right, but anyways, you got this connector here for this card bo card reader board. And then you got this connector here um, that goes to, is that to the trackpad? Looks like, yeah, it looks like this goes to the trackpad. And then um, the hard drive connector here. Um, this the hard drive connector isn't replaceable um, there are two other connectors under here I'm not sure what these are for um, I think sometimes they'll have a fingerprint sensor um, so I'm not sure if that's what this piece is for or is this a button oh that's a button okay so that's a that's the BIOS reset button so if you there's a hole in the bottom of this cover so if you want to reset the CMOS, you can press and hold that button with a needle. Um, this has like a case opening detection thing. So if you leave the case open, the computer might not turn on properly because of that. Um, this laptop also has water drain holes. So if you spill something on the keyboard, just leave your keyboard upright. Don't flip it upside down or the water can flow over those drain holes and then spill into the computer. Okay. Then you got the wireless card under here. Just like all the other models, you pull the antennas back from the tail and then just line it up and push it back down. When you take the screw out, it'll pop up like the RAM. You can just wiggle it out to pull it out. Um, this looks like a M.2 SSD. So there's another M.2 SSD in here, um, but it's like a half, half stick. I'm not sure what the actual size or length. Let me see if I can measure this in case you need that. So this is 30, 40. I think it's about 40 millimeters or so. So, or 40, I think it's the 44 millimeter size because I've replaced one of these on a Mac before. Um, okay, then you got this connector here. I'm not exactly sure what that's for because I'm not gonna lift the whole board out. Maybe it's for the keyboard. You got the speaker connector here. Same thing like the battery. You just grab it and wiggle the connector and pop it out. Um, there are some screws holding it in place, so you will have to take those out if you want to lift the speakers out. All right, um, the fan it looks like I might have to take the whole heat sink out to replace it. Um, hopefully not, but to remove the heat sink, you just take the four screws out and then don't pull straight up because you can bend this pipe. I usually like to twist it like sideways to release the, the thermal paste. Okay, um, then you got the CMOS battery itself. Um, as I was saying, there's a connector under here. I'm not sure what that's for. Um, yeah. Then you got the, this looks like an LCD connector here. This might be for the cameras. And then this is, I think, for the, um, the power button. Okay. And you got one other connector here. Hmm. There's a lot of connectors on this. So this is the connector for the power, the DC jack. It looks like, let me pull this up just to be sure. Yep, that's the DC jack connector. So to get that out, you just grab that and wiggle it and it'll pop out. All right, you do have to undo the hinges and this metal bracket to take it out. Um, hopefully if you're working on these, you can at least figure those pieces out. It shouldn't be too complicated. Um, if not, I have a whole bunch of videos to watch that will show other ones how I do this. Um, and then you got the USB port here that's also replaceable with that's what this connectors for Okay, so the fan also has one of these connectors that you can wiggle out um, But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this model um, So hopefully this video was helpful to you if it was please like and subscribe because that'll help me and Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye